Hello everyone. This is my individual project on the topic brain hemorrhage detection using deep learning. These are the contents of the video. Introduction. Intracranial hemorrhage is a brain disease that causes bleeding inside the cranium of brain. This is a serious health issue and the patient having this often requires immediate and intensive treatment. For example, intracranial hemorrhages account for approximately 10% of strokes in the US where stroke is the fifth leading cause of death. Identifying the location and type of any hemorrhage present is a critical step in treating the patient. Diagnosis requires an urgent procedure. When a patient shows acute neurological symptoms such as severe headache or loss of consciousness, highly trained specialists review medical images of patient's cranium to look for the presence, location and type of hemorrhage. This process is complicated and often time consuming. For this reason, deep learning is used to detect intracranial hemorrhages in a faster way. Dataset There is a dataset available online provided by the Research Society of North America, RSNA. This dataset contains over 4 million train images, a .csv file containing images with type of acute hemorrhage in a column and probability of type present in other column, and over 400,000 test images. This total dataset is of about 156 GB. All images are in DICOM format. These images contain associated metadata. This will include patient ID, study instance UID, series instance UID and other features. Requirements to run this project. As dataset is huge, this project can only be executed on a GPU. The following libraries are used for this purpose. The first one is NVIDIA's Apex library, which is available on GitHub. And next, I used windowing functions for pre-processed data, which are available online. This project also requires CUDA 10.0 or higher versions, as we are using GPU for execution. And this, all, this project also requires PyTorch install on your system. Data preprocessing. As the CSV files for both train and test are given, these files are loaded into pandas data frames which are used to preprocess the data. The CSV files contain images in the format id underscore image name underscore type and another column having label. These CSV files are split into row per image and saved. The type of the intracranial hemor brain hemorrhage is one hot encoded so that it's easy for representation. Model description. For detecting whether a given image consists brain hemorrhage or not, the following are used. Model. PyTorch ResNext 32 into 8 dimensions. Optimizer Adam. Torch device CUDA, which is a default CUDA device. This project, this model is trained for only one epoch as the whole process takes 3 hours approximately on, even on a GPU. ResNext architecture. It's developed by UC San Diego in collaboration with Facebook AI Research. The number of paths inside the ResNex block is defined as cardinality. In the above diagram, the cardinality is 32. All paths contain the same topology in a ResNex. Instead of having high depth and width, having high cardinality helps in decreasing validation error. ResNex tries to embed more subspaces within the architecture. The following diagram here shows the ResNex for cardinality of 32 and depth of 4. Results. The training loss was reduced to around 0 0.0789. Accuracy is about 0 0.997 for the model I used to detect presence of intracranial hemorrhage and its subtypes. The following is the sample output. It's in the format id underscore image name underscore the type of acute brain hemorrhage. In the other column, it's the probability of the brain hemorrhage being present. These are the sum of the references that I used for doing my project. Thank you.